Mary, the mother of God, is a queen. Did you know the Catholic Church celebrates this on a special day in the church calendar under the title of the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary? Yes, this day is on August the 22nd of each year. It was established by Pope Pius XII in 1954. With the assurance of faith, we know that Jesus Christ is King in the full, literal, and absolute sense of the word. For he is true God and man. This does not, however, prevent Mary from sharing his royal sanctions, for she is the mother of Christ, and Christ is God. And she shared in the work of the divine Redeemer in his struggles against enemies and in the triumph he won over them all through his passion, death, resurrection, and ascension. Does Mary's queenship have roots in Scripture? Yes, of course. In the Gospel of Luke, at the Annunciation, the Archangel Gabriel announced that Mary's son would receive the throne of David and rule forever. At the Visitation, Elizabeth calls Mary, Mother of my Lord. As in all the mysteries of Mary's life, she is closely associated with Jesus. Her queenship is a share in Jesus' kingship. We can also recall that in the Old Testament, the mother of the king has great influence in the court. Through church history, we learn how in the fourth century, St. Ephraim called Mary Lady and Queen. Later, church fathers and doctors continued to use the title. And in the 11th and 13th centuries, there were hymns address, addressing Mary as Queen. Some are Hail Holy Queen, Hail Queen of Heaven, and others. In 1854, Pope Pius IX wrote an apostolic document on the Immaculate Conception, which was about Mary. In it, he writes this, more than all the angels and all the saints, God has freely endowed Mary with the fullness of the heavenly gifts that abound in the divine treasury. And she, preserving herself ever immaculately clean from the slightest taint of sin, attained a fullness of innocence and holiness so great as to be unthinkable. Isn't that a beautiful quote? The Feast of Mary's Queenship follows that of the Feast of Mary's Assumption, which is on August the 15th. And in his 1954 encyclical to the Queen of Heaven, Pope Pius XII points out that Mary deserves the title because she is Mother of God, because she is closely associated as the new Eve with Jesus' redemptive work, because of her known perfection and because of her intercessory power. Do we doubt then that Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, possesses a dignity far beyond all other creatures? Well, remember that from the very first moment of her conception by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Virgin Mary was filled with the depth of grace. Apart from God himself, a fullness that no one other than God will ever possess. In this union with Christ the King, Mary obtains the status that she stands high above all created things. This same union with Christ is the fountain of the infinite value of her motherly intercession and the presence of the Holy Trinity. The Mother of God, who is also our Mother, is Queen of Heaven and Earth. Invite her to reign in your heart. And when you do, she will help you to grow in your Christian faith and help you grow in true charity. Mary, our Queen and Mother, pray for us.